call the July 14th meeting of the Town of Barnesville Board of Health to order. Um, the first part of the meeting is a presentation by George Hoyfelder from the county. Um, George was kind enough to come to this meeting because at the um, town council meeting about the sewers, there were a lot of claims made about the efficacy of IA systems and a lot of them were contrary to what I had been told in the past. Um, in order to make sure that I wasn't way behind the times, I asked George to come to us today because uh, George's de department, division, I've, what should I call it, George, have been uh, responsible for monitoring the IA systems Cape wide. And um, I thought a good way for us to start these discussions on alternative systems was to see how the ones that we currently have have been functioning. So, uh, Life and times of alternative septic systems on Cape Cod. And what are we really talking about just for the general public? Innovative alternative septic systems, alternative systems, advanced treatment units, all of these are used sort of synonymously, denitrification units. They're used in, in Barnstable County primarily for two reasons, and within the code they are allowed for two reasons. One is to reduce certain requirements of Title V, such as the size of a leach field or distance to groundwater or an amount of naturally occurring material. To give an example, the typical alternative septic system allows you to reduce a leach field size by 50 percent or distance to groundwater by two feet. And the other reason they're used, and in particular in Barnesville County, is a reduce, reduction of contaminants or reduced contaminant loading, and that is primarily from nitrogen. Because the challenge in our setting is to remove nitrogen from the groundwater so that it does not impact wells as well as impacting marine embayments. And the standard septic system works pretty simply uh, a septic tank into a leach field converts all the uh, ammonium or proteins in our body that happen to go out in the form of urine or feces, converts that nitrogen into ammonium, and in the leach field, everything converts to nitrate. And nitrate is the thing that travels very conservatively in the groundwater, <clears throat> and all of the alternative septic systems we're about to talk about basically take that nitrate and convert it back up to nitrogen gas. So the, the advanced treatment units basically manipulate the nitrogen cycle to re return nitrogen from the foodstuffs we eat to the atmosphere so that they don't uh, encourage growth in marine embayments to the point of excessive algae growth and start to promote the problems we see in our embayments. Now, there are a few things I'd like to talk about because uh, these are the numbers that are commonly thrown around. Uh, in all the approval letters for these little advanced treatment units that can be in people's backyards, there is a stipulation that they should reduce the nitrogen to 19 milligrams per liter uh, total nitrogen. There are certain assumptions that went along with that, the 19 milligrams per liter that would be treated effluent assumes that there was about 38 milligrams to start with. So these units are required under their approvals to remove 50 percent of the nitrogen in uh, your standard wastewater. But there is something that needs to be understood as I go over these results. 19 milligrams per liter in the discharge can be achieved by one of two ways. As you know, and I think I went to graduate school, and in graduate school I was always amazed that I paid so much when a professor walked in and he said, the solution to pollution is dilution. And that is so with alternative septic systems. If you need to achieve 19, there's one easy way to do it. Just use a heck of a lot more water. Systems on Cape Cod and the majority of the systems in your town are a technology called FAST, Fixed Activated Sludge Treatment. There are Cape-wide about 657, more like 700 since this chart was made, uh, and BioClear recirculating sand filters, and you can see all the other technologies down below. Now, 
these graphs look a little complicated, but they're really not. What they are is we've plotted every data point and plotted the median, which is the middle value of each system. So every one of these lines represents a septic system out there using the, all technologies combined, all eye technologies. And you see that about 61% of the systems meet the 19 milligram per liter standard. Other promising technologies out there not in common usage. Well, there is one that I know of. It's a Nitrex. I don't know whether uh, P.L. Lombardi was scheduled to be here tonight or not. But this is basically a denitrification filter on the tail end of any nitrifier. Could be recirculating sand filter, could be another type of trickling filter. These units have been shown as show a lot of promise. They basically take your nitrate and convert it back to nitrogen gas. And our numbers indicate that these, this technology can get as low as 5 milligrams per liter. So it can mimic a uh, treatment plant as far as the nitrogen removal.